Hi all, welcome to this video where we are going to discuss about the PowerShell alias. If you are aware of Windows batch commands or Unix cell scripting commands, then you will be happy to know that many of your favorite commands will work in PowerShell as well. Let's try few of them. Okay, so these commands are giving expected output, alright? Let's find out why it is so. Reason behind this is not that they are PowerShell commands, but they are another name or aliases of actual PowerShell CMD lets. Developers of PowerShell created these aliases so that the people who have worked on Unix cell scripting or Windows batch scripting find it convenient and PowerShell provides a common platform for all kind of developers. Let's get the list of all these available alias. Command for that is get hyphen alias. Now you can see that each of discussed command can be located here and they are mapped to some PowerShell CMD let. Example CD is mapped to set location, CLS is mapped to clear host and so on. So whenever we execute CLS command, control comes into this table and then the actual PowerShell command linked to it which is clear host gets executed. I would like you to go through this list and try to find few of your favorite commands which you are aware of and their CMD lets. It is not that we have to use the alias name from this list all the time. We can create our own alias for any of PowerShell CMD let as well. Let's understand how these aliases are created. Command to create an alias is set hyphen alias. Let's use it. From last video, we are aware of get hyphen command of PowerShell which returned us the list of all commands. I want to create an alias for that. In order to do that, type set hyphen alias, then give a name to your command. Let's say I want to call it by cmd underscore list. And then in value, you need to specify the PowerShell command. Execute it and your alias got created. Do you want to see your own alias in get hyphen alias list? You can do that. Just execute get hyphen alias again and you can see our alias exists now. Now instead of get hyphen command, you can use cmd underscore list and they will work like same command. So in this video we try to understand aliases. We also created an alias. It is really an overwhelming feature. Why don't you create an alias of one of your favorite command? Also, you have git hyphen help in case you need any syntax related help. Please do that and let's meet in the next lecture. Take care.